think we're ready to go. Starting up uh, stream number two for Final Fantasy XIV. Um, I need to do a little bit of leveling, but that's... The eagle-eyed among you. You may notice there's, there's some differences here between the last time you saw this character. Died my eye patch. I did, uh, and also, uh, there's a couple things, actually. I notice I have a, a, a sword and shield. You may also notice, uh, in the lower, lower right-hand corner there, there's, there's a number that represents my gill uh, that is not, like, 200. Yeah, I moved some, some gill from my vein onto, <laughs> onto this version of Gilrath. So I've got some cash to play with if I see anything glamoury. Glamour is basically, I was about to say, is, is like transmog, but if you don't know what that is, it doesn't make any sense either. Uh, and while it was transmog and this is glamour, is the ability, I talked about it last time, the glamour plates, where you can make something look like another suit of armor. Like, this is not the actual gear I'm wearing, but this is what it looks like, uh, which... When WoW introduced that, that was kind of a game changer, because that way you didn't have to have mismatched armor all the time. You could just make it look however you want. Um, and once I get a new headpiece, I will be putting the eye patch in there, because canonically, in my you know RP mindset, the character has an eye patch. But yes, so I unlocked Gladiator. So we got Gladiator going. Uh, I need to do the Gladiator quest and get him up to 14 so we can continue the story. Ultimately, I think I'm, I decided I'm going to go tank a lot just because I'm going to get into queues in uh, Party Finder faster for the few times that we're going to need to. Uh, I can do it... Uh, like, normal dungeons for the story I can do with a party of uh, AI teammates. But trials, which are basically just a single big boss fight with for uh, eight people, those I'm actually going to need a party for. And those actually are a pretty normal part of the story as you go. But also some of the optional content, uh, the raids and trials, I'm also going to need other people <clears throat> um, for those story bits. And some of them are very, very important story bits. So let's... Uh, so it's here. I just want to check one thing. I just want to check the price on one of the, uh... Now, I could just go the whole game with Hawaiian shirt. That That's a possibility. I'm... It's not gonna happen. Capra, Scapskin... That's a that's still a million? God damn. Some of these I assumed would go down in price over time, but apparently not. That is a nice coat, I will say. Uh, I'm looking for the Rebel coat which is what my character usually wears on main. Um, oh, there it is. Rebel Coat. Oh, damn, that's gone up in price. When I had it made, it was only like 500k, and now it's almost close to a million. But that's a nice coat, isn't it? Well, I guess we're just going to keep uh, being Ferian from FF2. Alright, uh, I need to get to the Quicksand, so I can just add something to my, uh... I made a few purchases. Retro Skilled. From the auction house. <clears throat> um, specifically the Emperor's new necklace bracer and ring, so we don't have to see these stupid things. Actually, I didn't get the Emperor's new necklace... Uh, simply because I can just put on a necklace, it looks fine. Uh, and the earrings, who cares? They're earrings. They they they, they never look bad. Uh, so what we're gonna do very quickly is this: add these to my thing. Emperor's new bracelet, yes. Emperor's new ring, yes. Okay. So what we're gonna do is go on to the adventure plate or the glamour plate, and we are going to add. Yeah, it looks nice. You can actually get Adventure's new uh, shield as well, if you want to be uh, like a paladin who doesn't have a shield. 
So you're just like blocking things with your arm, which is kind of badass, but you know. Um, so where is... Okay, oh, I'm in the city. I can just talk to this person. The thing about uh, quests is that selecting them, like uh, picking them up and um, turning them in is level specific. But you can take part in the in-between stuff, if, even if you're not that level yet. So I can do this, even though I'm not 14. Oh, but you know what? Better idea. I can level up way quicker if I do the uh, gladiator quests. I will I will be continuing with Monk as well. I mean, granted, I, I, as I said before, it's going to be Dragoon and Dark Knight the entire, like, once I get those two unlocked. And their storylines are excellent. Uh, both the Dark Knight, which I don't want to spoil anything about Dark Knight because it's just so good. Um, yeah, I'm actually just going to Gladiator. We'll just start the quest line. Um, but the Dragoon quest line interacts with another character who's a major player in Heavensward. Uh, and they will reference the fact that you did the Dragoon quest line, or parts of that story. <clears throat> Uh, the, the Gladiator quest line is very good. It's fine. The Paladin quest line, once you become a Paladin, is awful. <laughs> uh, it's not well told. And the... So the 30 the thirty to 50, from Paladin to the end of uh, Realm Reborn, a lot of stuff is happening that you're not part of. And then at the very end, stuff happens all, all at once, and it's like, wait... Was I supposed to be part of this story? Uh, on my free company Discord, I posted a, a clip from the Mystery Science Theater 3000 episode where they watched Girl in Gold Boots, where Mike says, Well, I guess the plot is just none of our business. And that's exactly how I felt about the Paladin storyline. And then 50 to 60 is just dumb. You're part of the story, but it's not good and not well told. So that 60 to 70 Paladin quests, they decided, you know what? Let's go back to the uh, Gladiator Guild. You're gonna, be, you're gonna be dealing with those people again. They they were far more interesting than the, the dumb Paladins that you know. So we'll be doing this because again, tanks gonna be way easier just to deal with a lot of stuff. <clears throat> Your expression, your posture, you're already brimming with confidence. Am I? Let's see if that current uh, confidence is warranted, shall we? Is it? Just at the gates of Old Dog, you'll find plenty of marmots, hornets, and trues. Yeah, so it's similar to the monk storyline. The first quest is just get to know your moveset. You know, get to know your moves. Uh, also, you'll notice on my crossbar, I already added some stuff in the places where I usually put them. Um... Yeah, okay. So we'll do this. I mean, granted, this is going to give me almost nothing. But the quest turn-in is going to give me some decent experience. And you'll get to see a little bit of what Paladin is, which is hit thing with sword. Sometimes spin with sword. I'm also kind of looking forward to the first dungeon, simply because tanking can be a very intimidating prospect. It can. It, it just is. Because you think, well, I'm the party's depending on me. I have to be the one to defend them. What happens if I lose aggro on the boss or on something? And that was what it was in WoW. I was it, I could never tank in WoW. I was just always too nervous. Oh, if I lose aggro, the enemies are going to go after the party. And, yeah, I'm going to fail. Oh, you know, and it's the normal fear of failure. But in this game, tanking is in my opinion, the easiest job in the game. Healing, you still gotta kinda sometimes, kinda sorta be on your game, uh, especially depending on the dungeon. Uh, there are times when it's actually quite challenging to play a healer. Um, tanking is, you can turn your brain off and tank. The way aggro works in this game, if as long as you have your tank stance on, and as long as you occasionally AoE just to get everyone's attention. You will never lose aggro. <laughs> you have so many defensive options that are just... You notice uh, all three of them are over there. 
Oh, actually, I gotta put arm's length on there. I don't think I get that till 30-something? 30 32? Um, all tanks get arm's length, which I am also going to stress, if you didn't want to play this game, remember to use arm's length. Tanks who don't use arm's length are not good tanks. It applies a slow to every enemy that hits you, completely cutting their amount of damage they can dish out. Except on bosses, obviously. Bosses are usually not affected by most things. But bosses rarely pose a threat to you as a tank, anyway. <clears throat> Why did I do that? I could just... I could just warp. That's fine. So I've got this one... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go. I was having a conversation uh, just the other day. Because one of uh, the people on FC is playing the Star Ocean 2 remake. Hold on. Dispatch the thing with every swing. Alright, so let's start the next one. Uh, I was talking about... Uh, they, they were playing the Star Ocean 2 remake... And I seemed to remember that came out in a real, like... Star Ocean 2, basically, is uh, also the good one. I don't think there's ever been a, a Star Ocean game that anyone really talks about fondly other than 2. But it was amazing. And uh, I was like, didn't that come out in a year where, like, everything came out? Uh, I think it was 98. And it's one of those years that could be considered the best year for video games ever. Um, nineteen ninety-eight. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. This is the one I was thinking of. Yeah, this is nineteen ninety-eight video games, right? <laughs> this list is insane. Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, Half Life, Metal Gear Solid, Starcraft, Baldur's Gate. Fallout 2, Thief, Crash Bandicoot, Warped, I don't know if that's one of the good ones, Banjo-Kazooie, Parasite Eve, Rogue Squadron, Xenogears, Resident Evil 2, Sonic Adventure sucked, but, uh, Mario Party, Spyro, Medieval, which was okay, uh, Starcraft Brood War came out the same year, uh, Tomb Raider 3, you got Pokemon Yellow, Star Ocean, of course, uh, 2, uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, I play that game a lot. Uh, F-Zero X, Turok 2, uh, Twisted Metal 3, what are there, uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga, now, that's a game I would like to play on stream, just because that game is pretty amazing. I've heard it's really not easy to emulate, though. I've heard it's really, like, difficult to emulate, uh, anything on Saturn. But that's one of those games that was incredible, but it came out on the Saturn. It was gonna, you know, it was bound for failure. Uh, 1080 Snowboarding, that was a good game, too. Yeah, so that was a stacked year. <laughs> I mean, just those first three games. Ocarina of Time, Half-Life, and Metal Gear Solid. And, and four, first four games. Starcraft. Like, and any game that isn't one of those being successful is kind of tough. Grim Fandango came out that year too. Grim Fandango was a great game. But yeah, that was uh, that was a stacked year. Um, another fundamental aspect: commanding an opponent's attention. Yep. There are times when we must do so. Yep. In a situation, I believe this one is. Oh, I get to uh, go yell at some people. There's some marauders. Bothering people at the Adventurers Guild. Uh, I need to face me, right? Um, actually, you know what? I can just do slash me. This dude just bothering this person. Go back to Limpsy, a pirate. I believe we're going to get introduced to the Gladiator kind of storyline that we're going to be dealing with with this particular quest. Yeah, 
going. This one in here, I believe. Maybe not. Oh, sorry, I gotta do these three, then there's a guy inside that I need to yell at. That's right. Yeah, get away. Oh, wait, I gotta apply my stuff so I get the rings out of the way. It's a nice looking necklace. Got a little green in there. There's the guy. And then I yell at this dude. Just who the hell do you think you're speaking to, maggot? I'm Farmul. Farmul. The Driven. I made me bloody marauders been raving so long, mothers scare their children with tales about us. Don't believe me words. Let me ask you the talking. I'm a level 5 marauder, I am. This is live laven for the quicksand. You two gonna put on a show for us? This chat over here. That shit-eating grin. <laughs> What's this, another god's damn fool? Show some respect when you took to... Farmiel the Driven, leader of a troop of bloody mummers or some such. I, I've heard you the first time. Your voice carries quite well. Then unless you want me to split your skull with me, Axe, you better... I want that sword. I don't know if you can ever get that sword. Th that sword? Could it be Frenzy? But only the sword of Nald would... Bloody hells, it's you. You know, I've never been one to stand back and watch. Mind if I join the fun? Begging your pardon, sir. Why do they always do that? Uh, looks like it's just you and me. Sam thought Lemonson was quite brave of you, and quite foolish. I think I like you, Gladiator. Name's Aldous. And I'd buy you a drink, but I'm afraid I've spent the last of my coin. I used to be a young Gladiator like you back then. I, uh... That's hardly concerns you. These days, I'm just an explorer of the unexplored, a seeker of as-yet-unknown experiences. Like that beautiful stranger keeping my bed warm at night. Gods, I've missed this city. This wonderful desert jewel of debauchery and sin. Now, if you'll excuse me. You might say it's a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Um, am I stuck? There we go. Now I can move. Hey, my buddy. I swear, if I hadn't seen Aldous with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. Everyone thought he died years ago. Listen, Kirath, do me a favor and don't tell Myla about meeting Aldous, alright? She doesn't need this sort of drama. Why, well, let's just say some folks ain't good for one another. Drama! Romance! Uh, oh, that's the wrong way. So now I'm going to go back to Gladiator. And then I have one more quest to do where we're going to meet, uh, you know, learn a little more about what's going on. Actually, yep, so. <clears throat> we're not going to, you know, we're, we're not going to. Oh, well. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought that was the end of the quest. Nope, we got to go to... So there's axe-wielding people making trouble. Yeah, it's probably the closest I'm going to get. Yeah, no, it's not. I should be able to warp right out there. Uh, 
Um, we're looking for... Oh, there it is. Well, there we go. Hold on. Hunt. I'll always take a little free hunt experience. I would mentioned last time, and it is true, that once you get to a certain point in leveling, you're going to be outpacing the story pretty consistently. There we go. And Cactuar. As well, just deal with the Cactuars. Deal with the Sabotenders. Oh god, am I gonna have to like, have like a full day stream just hanging out in Gold Saucer? Because I do love that place and I love me some cards. There's a card game in this that they took from Final Fantasy VIII called Triple Triad, which is absolutely addicting when you get into it. So yeah, once we have access to Gold Saucer, I will probably be playing some people because uh, you can meet NPCs that you can play against. Nervous Merchant. Tore me from my saddle and took everything I own. All three gil. Bring my goods back to me, I beg you. I had a lot of illicit drugs. They're kind of important. Is someone doing the quest over there? Oh, no, it's, that's, this is the fate. Uh, yeah, might as well. I'm here. <clears throat> Seven minutes left. Perfect. At this point in the game, if you just, like, occasionally do some fates that you're running past, even if you just join in for the end of it, as long as you complete it, you get some just free experience. It becomes a lot easier once you have a chocobo companion that you can have hanging out with you. I'm gonna need to... Because if you have a house, or you're part of a free company that has a house, and has stable, you can actually feed uh, your chocobo, which are basically big yellow emus, sort of? Uh, you know, they're a Final Fantasy staple, if you're not aware. Uh, which can serve as a mount and a companion that can help you in combat. Um, there we go. They, um, that was right over here. Actually, this one, no. Uh, but you can feed it things while it's in your stable that will change its coloration. So you can basically customize, and also you can get a whole bunch of uh, various outfits for your chocobo to wear, which is also awesome. As soon as I have access to it, I have to, you can get some on the auction house. You have to unlock others. Most of them you can just buy. There we go. And now we bring the guy's stuff back. Damn Limpsons. Yeah, I know. You already told me. Here's your stuff. Here's your two bags of things. But for good men like you, I'd never leave home. What? What? Now, yeah, whatever. Now we can turn it in. Okay. Now we're good. <clears throat> um. So that, and then we think we have one more quest. Good, it is finished. And with that, the stage of your training is complete. This time your enemies will all behave ruffians, but who knows what manner of opponents you will face in the future. Regardless, I have faith in you. You will do well. Master your sword, and you shall master yourself. Uh, oh. 
Well, I already have the leather eye patch, so... Um, well, none of this is a upgrade at all. Well, I'll take the money. Oh, okay, so I need to level up just a little bit to get the next one. Uh, basically, you can always get uh, Allegan pieces, which you can you just sell for money. That's all they're good for. That's all they're good for. Um, why don't we go to this area? I'll get one level, do the next Gladiator quest, and then we can continue the main story. Oh, there's also leaves I can do, but I don't think I'll need to. Really can't wait till I get a mount. Makes things so much faster. Can I take the enemies in this area is the question. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy peasy. There we are. Getting close. Little closer. A little closer. Oh, there's another fate over there, too. <clears throat> I think I know what fate that is. I think it's the one uh, on the bridge with the, these guys. The Lysiards. Is it? I'm trying to figure out the exact location that... Yeah, it's gonna be. No, it's not. It's not... The... Oh, it's down there. Oh, there's a big-ass frog down there. Well... Mm, what level is he? Nine? Eh... I can give it a shot. As a tank, I might be able to actually... Uh... Ow! Is he hostile? No. Well, before the climb, the brass plates are flooded with the poison of a giant total creature room in the desert. Once I fully heal, do I have any? I do have potions. Okay, so that's something I may be able to do. A cat disappeared. Hey. Hey. Right. <laughs> All right, now we should be good. We'll see if I can make a dent in this dude. Oh yeah, we should be good. So what I just did is Rampart, that is a tank, uh, basically for 20 seconds. Uh, I get some damage mitigation. I take 20% less damage for, or sorry, 15 seconds. 15 seconds, 20% less damage. Uh, there's another ability every tank gets that is 30% damage reduction. Everyone gets arm's length, and then everyone also has a third ability that is kind of more based on the tank. Uh, Gunbreakers get parry chance. Uh, Dark Knights get magic reduction, uh, damage reduction, which is the worst. Um, Dark Knights get... I think theirs is just another... No, Dark Knights get that. Uh, Marauders, Warriors... I can't remember what theirs is. Uh, but Paladins actually get a couple of different options. Uh, I believe they get a block, which is, you know, obvious because of the shield. Uh, they also get one that they can just kind of spam for uh, a resource that we'll be, you know, getting eventually as a paladin. That is only 15% damage reduction, but you can just keep, you can keep that up almost forever as long as you keep building up the resource. Now I get Shield Bash. Uh, shield Bash is basically some damage, but it's also... And now I have Oath Gauge, so let me change that. 
move the oath gauge over. Basically, this just lets me know when I'm in tank stance, uh, which I am sure many times during this playthrough I am going to forget to be in tank stance. Basically, while in tank stance, enemies hate you. They just at, at flat, you know, flat out hate you. Everything you do will draw enmity uh, from the enemies away from your party, which. If you don't have it on, usually it's the healers who will draw the aggro. Because healing pisses enemies off a lot. Uh, back in my WoW days, you know, the saying was always, if you are a tank, your job is not to protect the party, it's you're protecting the healer. The healer, your job is to keep the tank alive, the tank's job is to keep aggro away from the healer, and DPS is there to not draw aggro from the tank. <laughs> Do as much damage as you can without drawing aggro, and everyone will be fine. How many of these do I need to kill? One more. I'll go do the gladiator quest. Can't remember if it's this one or the 15 one. That's kind of a neat set piece. And there we go. Let's go back. And we can deliver the... Le there's also Toxic Toes, obtain their... Ah, oh, that's right, that's the monk one. Which I can deal with later. Ooh, I get a Makwahit what was it? Makwahitl, the uh, Aztec weapon that used uh, volcanic glass. Like one of the sharpest like blades ever made. You look well, Kilrath. I hope you are ready for your next task, because I require your immediate assistance. Several violent murders recently, the victims of which were all Huron men. They saw multiple spear wounds found in the bodies of the deceased. We believe the Lancers are responsible for the crimes. Yeah, I mean, based on these spear wounds, we assume the people that killed him were using spears. And since they're all men, it was probably a woman. Based on the multiple uh, not only are these murders a blight on our city, I fear it's only a matter of time before one of our own is targeted. Just received reports of foreign lancers skulking about in stone's throw. Considering the circumstances, I find it likely that these are our culprits. <laughs> there are foreigners around! They must be the ones that did it. Uh, go to Stone's Throw, yeah. Outside Gates of Nald. Uh, we are looking for that. Doesn't that how the Sekov and Zeddy trial happen? Like, these... I think the Onion had a great take on that, which is like, you know... No, it was, uh... <laughs> Well, the second one's 84 hours, uh, they were, like, arrested and found guilty of being foreign or something. But no, the Lindbergh baby was, you know, Lindbergh baby found dead. Police vow to arrest the first non-English-speaking person they can. Oh. My god, she was right. They are using spears. That caused the spear wounds. Shocking. Yo, what's up? Yo, yeah, dude, you're good. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. They appeared out of nowhere. I asked me what I, if I was Aldous at Spear Point. I said no, and they attacked me anyway. What did I do to deserve this? Aldous, interesting. That's the man we just met. So he's got to be somewhere over here. Oh, report to Mila. Well. Although it's not green, which means that it's not the end of the quest. We have more to do. We are going to Gladiator Guild. <clears throat> so 
So they were indeed the murderers we sought. But what about dusk white freelancers all the way from the Black Shroud? Why are they murdering Huron men with swords? First sword! Lance's first sword. A gang of them hiding in a tunnel south of Blackbrush Station. Seems they're not rid of them yet. Kilrath? You might as well finish what you started. Go to Central Thanalan and dispatch the last of these freelancers. Bruce, accompany Kilrath. See that he doesn't die. Yeah, so basically a lot of these, uh, I think it's probably a duty. Um, a lot of them, you will be teamed up with someone who basically can heal you. Yeah, whatever, we're just gonna vote. Two. Uh, actually, I can just go to Blackwash, can I? Yeah. <laughs> you might say, why not call the cops? Well, the cops are the brass blades uh, in this city, uh, in this whole region, and uh, as we saw in the opening... Like, by the way, that doesn't happen if you start in Limsa or Gridania, the whole thing where... You, the, usually there's always a disturbance on the road, but then the local peacekeeping force usually helps you you know, take on whatever, you know, that they're like, you guys go ahead, we'll take care of this. <laughs> In that case, you're stopped on the road by the Brass Blades because they want to do a shakedown <laughs> and take some of your money. <laughs> the Brass Blades are utterly corrupt. I mean, they're not corrupt, they're just mercenaries. But that means that, you know, they're in it for themselves. Every other peacekeeping force, uh, the Yellow Jackets in Limsa and the uh, Wood Whalers in Gridania, they actually have sort of some standards and you know they're actually doing it for the city and their uh, region it's they're not just a bunch of mercenaries uh and the wood whalers especially actually the yellow jackets kind of are well they're former pirates so there's a little bit you know there but at the same time uh the the wood whalers are probably the best because they're actually fully integrated into the grand company of gridania the the twin adders which is basically their army. Uh, the Wood Whalers are an official extension of that army that just is the local peacekeeping force. Um, basically, they patrol the the Black Shroud, the wooded area, uh, to protect people, to look, hunt for poachers. Uh, but actually, also, the, the archers of Gridania, the God's Quiver, are also part of the Twin Adders. So the, their, whole, their two main peacekeeping forces are not mercenaries. They're actually like fully integrated into their their structure. Like, Redania is, like, the best place. <laughs> Although it's also the one that has less, like, the least concept of a central government. They're led by a priestess. <laughs> Whereas Limsa, you have an admiral, and here we have a sultanate. Yeah, let's deal with these people. Come on, Bruce. Bruce the Big. I guess big is way more of a concept than a reality, but okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep swiping them. We swiping. Swipe left to die. Mr. Kilrath, I don't understand that reference. We don't have the internet. In fact, I don't even know what that word means. Okay, where's the next one coming? We're kind of clearing this out pretty darn quick. There he is. No, look at me. Look at me. I'm the tank. Look at me. I am the tank now. Done and done. My cat is now announcing that she has pooped. 
Because we have to know. I mean, it's an important part of every day. Looks like we're done here. Let's head home. I could use a drink. Just seeing Bruce just reminds me of the Monty Python sketch. The uh, philosophy department of the University of Wallabaloo. Where they're all named Bruce. Job well done. Bruce, uh, yep, going itself quite well. We're out for a bounty. What is your opinion of this? Mm, we were told specifically by Momodi not to mention Aldis. <laughs> Doesn't matter which one you choose, but yeah, we're gonna, well, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do right by Momodi. I see. Yep, it's best that we put sounded uh, yeah, sorted affair behind us. Still, I cannot help but wonder. All right, so we get. I already have the shield. Yeah, I went on a, again, a little buying spree on the auction house. Uh, okay, now these are all upgrades, and I might as well grab this, because that means that you're, yeah. I can run over to, that armor does look cool. Uh, the problem with those armor sets is you cannot glamour them, because, or you can, but it's weird. Uh, there's an armor set that includes legs and sh uh, feet and head and chest. Each of them is a single armor piece that takes up both slots, and you can't glamour them individually. So it... And their stats are great, it's just that you can't swap out the chest, like, the individual pieces anymore. Um, they kind of stopped doing that before even they finished a realm report. <laughs> By the end of the game, they don't, they don't do that anymore. Um... Let's go to the Sapphire Exchange. No, we want to go to Adventure Scale. I want to go to the inn. I'm kind of shocked. Well, actually, it's because... Well, I'm kind of sorry it's in here, too. I don't know if it's just not as common in here, uh, but there, uh, the Bard class, which is the upgrade of the Archer, uh, you can play instruments. Uh, you can like actually set up songs that you can play, and it tells you, of course, but, yeah, you don't play anything copyrighted. Everyone plays copyrighted music. Like every single person in the world plays copyrighted music. Uh, so what we want to do is put the eye patch in here. Uh, Got to repair it first. But uh, I also specifically leveled up Archer to get Bard so that I could play guitar. And of course there are plenty of, uh, we'll call them apps. Because it's actually not really a mod, it's just a... Are you cosplaying as... Where is the Mender? Is there not a Mender in here? It's usually one. Um, There's definitely going to be one at Sapphire Exchange. But I'm going to put the eye patch in the glamour dresser. That way we can always have the eye patch as part of our glamour thingy. Merchant looking for a mender. Mender! Uh, I'll probably also put a sword in there, because as much as I like the Aztec weapon, I'm basically just walking around with a paddle. That's not not really the aesthetic I'm looking for. That's a paddling. Making trouble at the quicksand? Oh, that's a paddling. So we're gonna go in keep. 
retire to the inn room. And while we're here, I'll continue the story quest. We'll deliver the letter to Owen. Alright, so now we put the eye patch in here. Uh, the eye patch also... Is it already? It is black dyed alright. Perfect. So now we put that in there, and we're good to go. Probably should do something for my portrait. Import settings from... Yeah, you know what? Just keep the same portrait. Eventually you'll get uh, some emotes that you can do with your weapon. So that you can part make it a little more unique. But yeah, for now it's fine. Right, so he is way... Uh, he's at the ruling square, I think. I think that's where he is. Right, chamber of rule. Uh, actually, he's closer to Alchemist Guild. Ah, there we are. The heart of the sword lies beyond. State your business. Pardon? Did you say lost heirloom? <clears throat> Proceed. Hey, Owen. Well met, adventure. What business brings you here this day? A letter? Very well, let's see it. Have you read this adventure? No. It's a federal crime to read other people's mail. I see, but you have some inkling to its contents, I think. Mistress Momodi has doubtless explained to you the significance of this crown, and what its loss could mean to her grace the Sultana. This theft shames the Sultan sworn, and me most of all. The blame is mine, you see. I grew lax in my duties in a moment of carelessness. No, it will do no good to recount the tale now. I mean, I failed in the most horrible way, but let's not dwell on that. Let's not bicker and argue over who killed who. This is the we've searched for any of those signs. Any Westwood's whereabouts of the crown? We found nothing. The identity of the thieves and their motives seemed to seemed fated to remain a mystery until you arrived, bearing this ransom note. In it, the criminals state their price for the return of her grace's crown. And though it pains me to say it, I fear we have no choice but to acquiesce to their demands. Too much is at stake to do otherwise. The crown symbolizes her grace's birthright and identifies her as custodian of the old legacy. It must be recovered. I will travel to the unholy heir and pay them their ransom. Or we could both go and just kill them and take it. Although I'm not foolish enough to meet these men alone, as they stipulate, I dare not bring a host of comrades lest the thieves take fright. Friend, would you consent to be present for the exchange. Mistress Momudi has always spoken of you in glowing terms, and I have never yet had reason to question her judgment. On behalf of those still loyal to the Sultana, I beseech you, help us in our hour of need. Nah. Down with the... <laughs> Down with the Sultanate. The guillotine was invented for a reason. Become ungovernable. Oh, wait. There's also... Oh, that's the Alchemist Guild. I don't... I honestly don't think I'm going to be doing any crafting or gathering in this playthrough, simply because it's not... Uh, is it closer to Horizon? I think it's closer to Horizon. <clears throat> this is not a longevity playthrough. This is just to get through the story. Because I'm, my, my plan is, hopefully, I will be done with the story before the next expansion, Dawn Trail, comes out next summer. Uh, at which point, I will be switching over to my main character. Who's the same character, just without the apostrophe in his last name. Um, and but basically, we'll be continuing the story from there. So my idea is just to get up to the point where I am currently. Where am I going? Oh. Black Rostation. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, the Spirit is Willing is over there. That's where, that's where I was confused. <clears throat> and yeah, I've already 
<laughs> I have made a going on. Apparently, uh, one of the two, because there's uh, there's always a raid series, a trial series, and an alliance raid series. Alliance raids are uh, three groups of eight people in a basically a huge raid. There's only one that you are required to do um, for very reasons that are going to become very apparent uh, once we hit Shadowbringers. Um, there is the trial series, which is basically, and they're all have their own storylines associated with them. The trial series is a bunch of trials, basically a bunch of like boss fights. Uh, and then the raid series is sometimes you'll fight things that are not bosses, but for the most part, the raid series is like one or two rooms and then the boss. Sometimes it's in uh, like the case of like the later ones, the most recent, it's just bosses. You go in and it's basically a trial, but it's a raid. Uh, and it's always eight people. Um, but yeah, I, I guess the uh, raid series for Rumble Born was the Binding Coil of Bahamut, which I've made arrangements the, that people are like, yeah, we'll help if you need help. We'll keep, we just basically you can go in as whatever level you actually are by unsyncing. If you're synced, you'll always be level synced with the the dungeon. Um, and you would need a full party to do that. But if someone is 90, they could walk me in and just basically take the boss in a few hits. So we can do that. But apparently, Binding I just recently learned, Binding Call of Baron apparently is still being like run by people. Like People actually still run that dungeon. Which is cool, because that means I, could, I may actually be able to do it you know, as is intended. Aha! Destination. We wait. And keep waiting. Oh! Yeah... <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Let's give it a shot! <laughs> I'm a tank, I can take this. Do I have someone here who might actually, like, help? Actually, they'll probably help. I've come as agreed. Now show me the crown. Give me back my son! Do you think me a fool? What assurance do I have that you will honor your part of the agreement? Now, now, Owen, you're the least trustworthy man here. Not only was the crown still on your watch, but it looks to me as if you violated the terms of our exchange. Did we not say you were to come alone? And given that you are not alone, what guarantee do I have there isn't a company of archers surrounding us as we speak? I mean, that's fair. That's a fair assumption to make. Ready to feather me and my men the moment we ca they catch a glimpse of the ground. You have made a mock of our trust. The deal is off. No, well, I guess we just could kill him. Here's your payment, as promised. Ah, it is the real thing. Wait, what were we giving him? A thousand thanks, my boy. You succeeded where scores of thieves have failed. And now at long last we have it. The power to create an army of undying soldiers. The traitors spurn. What? Did we just hand him? What have I done? You, did you not know what they were asking for? Did you not? Like, could you have researched this a little more than not at all? <laughs> to know what it was they were asking for? Surely you must have wondered what it was you were handing over. What it was that seemed so valuable, that seemed as valuable to us as the crown. Or did you assume we were feeling charitable? Yeah, there was a whole war in Uldah's past. Uh, yeah, the Sildan. The Sildan Empire. Uh, right there, where, yeah, there were undead involved. So, you know, he... Oh! Lots of friends. You know, I could have hidden, like, out of sight and kept an eye on things. I, I didn't have to, like, stand up here, like, waving. I'm just saying. Run while you still can. I will do my duty. No. 
It's your duty to serve the Sultana, lad, and you'll be doing it for a good while yet. Who's that? The Potato Man. Sultan Sworn, put these thieves to the sword and secure the ground. So, not only was I an idiot and just stood here, apparently he did just bring a cavalry with him. Like, no matter, kill them all. I mean, he has the means to create an undead army, so even if we kill them, he'll just... I forgot to swap out the paddle. That's all right. He gets battling. Yeah, we'll clear these guys out. Oh, I do get experience from these guys. Cool. Which is good. More leveling. Papa Shango. You can do it. I think we just got a little power shango. I just I just keep these guys alive basically. Uh, I might wanna yeah I might wanna. Oh no you don't you little asshole. Damn mages. Who's Oh, that person's the healer. There we go. No more of that healing. Now we can just deal with this guy. Oh, well, actually... I guess I'll help out Owen, the colossal failure. Oh, good. He's all, he's the one who's summoning the uh, Void Scent. Well, Owen... Are you just, like, the densest man ever? They want an army of undead. Of course they can also summon Void Scent. <laughs> Isn't even that surprising. That's the other shit they're doing. There we go. These people summon demons? But that's wrong. Papa Shango, but why? How? I am you. You're really bad at your job, by the way. You not only stole a potion to make undead <laughs> from the royal vaults but you were seen by multiple people doing it after you also let the crown of the sultana be stolen you're just awful at everything oh and it was raban who noticed him <laughs> the flame general mm, he ordered you to look after me probably because he knew that you were going to screw it up somehow and also, he's the right hand of the Sultana, and not someone you want to piss off. So he just saw you waltz into the vault and come out with an undead potion. Papa Shango, more to the north. After them, Sultan Sworn, they have the crown. This lot sought only to delay us. Let us speak again back in the city. After I screw this up and probably hand them more of the, you know, royal treasury. Maskman. The masked mage. The source of his strength becomes clear. I'm right here. You can just talk to me. You don't have to speak about things in third person. You may have bested the golem, but you will not fare so well this day.
Whom the fuck is this? O mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command that I might smite mine enemies. Pumpkinhead. That kind of, actually. Your very being imperils the plan. You cannot be suffered to live. This could be a problem. Oh, I need to kill both of them. Well, I mean, that's fair. I do have... You know, yeah, well, uh, I'll probably deal with them first. Let's pop some abilities here. Yeah, I might want to be proper level for this. Or, anytime you fail one of these, uh, you can go back and basically lower the difficulty, which basically just makes the enemies weaker uh, and have less health. I would absolutely be able to do that pretty easy if this was not on full difficulty. Since, you know, I'm supposed to be 14 for this, and I'm 11. I'm 11. Although this is not going so bad. If I can get rid of him, I can always po uh, potion if I need to. Thank Red! Hey, bud. Stop. <clears throat> you know, we're just going to do that. We'll pot, as they say. Well, wow, missing with attacks is so weird, because, again, by the, by the point I am in the start, my stats are... My stats are so high that, like, yeah, missing doesn't, like, happen anymore. So, yeah, this weird dude in the mask, who's some mage of some kind, saw something about me that is a problem to him. And said that I am a danger to the plan. That's interesting. And we'll learn a little bit about that as the game goes on. And Thancred also seemed to notice something about me. That the wisdom of the Paragons should be brought low by mere mortals. But he's dead. Paragons? Is this indeed? This is indeed a disturbing revelation. We had long suspected the involvement of the bringers of chaos, Askians, to give them their true name. Which means this dude won't stay dead for long. But we cannot be sure they were responsible for the recent disturbances until now, as if the Sultan had needed any more enemies. Heh, <laughs> weird, right? We, have we Charlaeans crossed paths with Askins before? Well, we've certainly... Wait. I don't recall you telling me... Uh, te yeah, I don't recall you me telling you my homeland. Oh yes, that's right. You're one of the gifted. You know, this marks the third time I found you in the midst of trouble. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're a lodestone for it. The cornerstone. Glad I started following you around. Who knows what grand conspiracy you'll stumble upon next. I jest, I jest. I kid, I kid. Had I truly been watching your every move, I wouldn't have taken so long to intervene, intervene in your latest altercation. But all's well that ends well, eh? Our masked friend is no more, and while I very much doubt we've seen the last of his kind, his demise will likely grant us some respite. On that note, I must away. Until next time, Kilrath. Actually, that's true. He may not come back... Because he's not a full Askian. We'll see some red-masked Askians, which are the the full the, the <laughs> their bloodline is more pure, and you really can't kill them. They'll just keep body hopping, basically. But he actually might be dead. Dead. I should take. You know, what? I'm gonna take my name tag off. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, those are fine, though. Oh, there's stuff over here. Oh, I gotta go talk to Papa Shango. Uh, the Heart of the Swarm... Okay. The Heart of the Cards. <clears throat> this is also not the completion of the quest, which... Because I'll have to be 14 to actually turn the quest in in its completion. So I've got a little time. Uh, we're going to go to Chamber of Rule. Oh, okay, so I will... Okay, so I am turning it in. Alright, so I need to do this a little bit of leveling. Let's go to... Pretty quickly. Uh, Horizon, yeah. Shouldn't be too... Too bad. I'm just going to gear up with everything I can. Just get all my... Uh... Yeah. Oh, this is 14. I should probably... Eh. Uh, that's 12. Yeah. Just grab a couple things just so I can keep on top of the armor situation. So we'll do some fates, maybe some leaves. Actually, leaves would be a very quick way to do this. Where is the leave meat? There you are. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, potion always. Even with classes that use MP... I don't think I've ever used an ether. Potions, especially early on, you're probably going to pop a potion every once in a while. Alright, give me some leaves. A gill test. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. We'll do a gill test. That'll give me some experience. And while I'm here, I will continue getting leaves. All right, what do you got for me? Uh, give me... You know, why not? We'll do all of them. So a guild test is kind of like a mini dungeon. Uh, it's just a very quick thing, but it's it's basically there to introduce you to the idea of how to work as a party. Uh, which is actually a pretty clever way to do it, if I'm being honest. Uh, you know what? We're gonna crank that up. I'm in the wrong spot for it. But that's okay, I got 20 minutes. Pacify excited creatures using the soothing... Ah, oh, crap. Hold on. Um, by name. So now it should just be on my... You know what? We're going to make this way easier on myself. Soothe. There you go. Now, I don't know if anyone actually still does <laughs> kill tests. So I don't even know if we're actually going to get anybody. But, eh. We'll see. And, you know, unfortunately, I can't just, uh... There you go. I can't do that with AI people. Dungeons, I can. Oh, right, I need to sue them. So, hold on. There's one. It's 
one up here. There's another one. Cast Glamour, uh, yeah, Viking Sword looks nice. There we go. Oh, that's one, that's the one I already, uh, grabbed. Once I get Shield Toss, that'll also give me a ranged way to get people's attention. Uh, one more should do it. And there's the last one. Can I finish all of these leave quests before I actually... There we go. Get into a guild test, is the question. Uh, yep, let me do this one. Oh, wow! We actually got it. Look at that. I'm kind of shocked. Oh, I forgot... I yeah, this is going to happen a lot, by the way. Alright. I'm just going to do my tank thing. Get everyone's attention. So basic party makeup uh, is similar to a lot of uh, MMOs. It's a four-person party. You have a tank, healer, and two DPS, or damage per second. Yes, thank you. And there he is. Um, that's the basic party makeup. Tank, obviously, is the one that grabs all the attention from the enemies, because the tank also has ways to not take as much damage. Uh, whereas if the tank dies and it starts to, uh, you know, enemies in a dungeon level kind of thing, start actually all oh, player commendations, of course. After every dungeon, you get to commend one of your allies as a tank. It's it's always my healer. Where my healer at? It's a pretty nice chunk of experience. All right, now that we've done that, are we up? We are level 12. So two more, and I can turn that in. Uh, wait. Is that actually in my duty finder now? Yep, I can do guild test roulettes now. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do the roulette, because the roulette gives you, once a day, something you do in a roulette gives you extra stuffs. But for right now, we're just going to do this. And, yep, crank it up. Uh, this one is all the way over here. Oh, well, there we go. Uh, what is the job? What is my job here? Report, carried objectives. Yes, dude's a little stronger. Oh, so I can just take these dudes out. Target items. <coughs> So it looks like there's, uh, based on the map, looks like there's these guys on both sides of the city. But we's right here. Might as well. Might as well. I 
damage it before anything. So anytime you have to... What do you need my portrait? Anytime you change a piece of equipment, you need to update your portrait. Or otherwise it'll just revert to the standard one. Your, your standard mugshot. Hold on. There we go. Ah. I, this probably should be... Oh, I failed it. Nah, whatever. Um, I'm the tank. Not that it matters. Why is it... Oh, maybe it's skill test. Just don't do that. But yeah, it, it doesn't really matter. The party makeup is not really all that important in Guild Tests until some later ones. Each one is kind of teaching you something. So this is kind of teaching you the basic party makeup. There's one that involves kiting an enemy. Um, also, if you're too high a level uh, um, that it has to sink you down, it turns off your tank stance for some reason. So I will be forgetting to turn that back on a lot of times, I'm sure. You'll be seeing that little faux pas quite often. And someone else in the party always has to be like, ah, uh, your tank stands off. And we're done. Again. Thank the healer for keeping me alive. Thank you. Hey, I got commendations. I think you get, like... You get something for commendations. I can't remember if it's anything like important. Uh, well, you can become a mentor, which is not something I ever. Most mentors are people who just want to mount. You get a mount if you uh, get the mentor thing, and basically, if you get enough commendations, um, you can get a mount or something. So a lot of people will, like, go for the mount, and they'll have the little mentor thing, even though they're not team players at all. <laughs> they basically were just fishing for commendations over and over and over. So if you see someone with the mentor symbol over their head, you're probably better at the game than they are. Don't trust them. Don't talk to mentors. Don't look them in the eye. Don't shake their hands. <laughs> They're like Blanca players. Yeah, this is not going to take very long at all. Especially once I turn... Because uh, you do a whole bunch of leaves and then you turn them all in and you just see like a mountain of XP explode out of you. Yeah, already 13... To be honest, doing the uh, the story quest early, because that was all just free XP in a fight I really couldn't lose. Uh, they're back this way. There's also a fade over there, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I honestly think I'll get there with just the leave quests. You know what? You come over here. I'm through with you. Let's try to call for two. Yeah, it was a person running around on a motorcycle. It happens. <clears throat> Anything's possible with Magitech. A vial of Aether that I'm never going to use. That's cool. And then the last one is just over there. You know what? I'm just going to lead you to it. Hey, Totoruna. Putat. Did he just stop following me? He did. And we are done. One more, and then I'll turn them all in. Uh, can I reinitiate it? I can retry it. Okay. I 
kind of curious actually how close this will get me just with these three. But we shall see. Well, I'm here. I might as well turn these on. I'll see how much each of them is worth. Oh, yeah. Oh, easy. Finishing these two is absolutely going to get me to the proper level. 100%. <clears throat> I think I probably will need both. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot again. It was pointing this way. Whatever. these guys. Skin deep. Initiate. Yep, crank it up. There we go. You can... Take these guys out. Then I'll warp back, hit the other one, and then we're good. And then story mode continues. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. That is number two. Oh, another treasure coffer. Is it going to give me ethers that I'll never use? Potion! Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'll use a potion, probably, at some point. Maybe. I popped one for a quest I was way under-leveled for, and that's about it. Although, potions do actually, even uh, at post-game, if you're going to be trying to solo something, that... Um, Like certain trials uh, and raid bosses, you can solo, but you might want to have a potion, a specific like certain potions with you just to give yourself a little extra healing. There's only a handful that you can't solo because they actually require, they have mechanics that require more than one person. Uh, you can basically duo almost everything in the game uh, if you're high enough level. Uh, I think, I'm trying to think, Susano and Bismarck might be the only two I can think of that you can't do alone. Simply because uh, both of them have mechanics where it requires a second person to be there to trigger it. Unless there's some, like, crazy, like, glitchy way to, to do it. Nothing I've seen, at least. And we do this. And then we do this one. Uh, these are just defeat fire bombs. Okay. So 
So I just need three of these. And that's a big boy over there. Sometimes you will have uh, extra stuff that isn't necessarily involved in the leave. They'll be like just like an extra monster. Like this dude, who it just adds a uh, adds to the reward, basically. Is that what I use this for? Maybe not. Okay, never mind. See, I need to cast... Maybe that's what I had to cast it on? So I beat the bombs, I take the fingers, and then I use them on other enemies in the area. These dudes, specifically. Aha! A void scent, and an adorable one at that. Actually, I could have just shield bashed him. Could have also just done low blow. movie where uh, the guy turns someone's head into cake. I need a bomb. This bomb. But okay, I bet I mean, there's a scene where he like, steps on someone's head and it's like, <laughs> it looks like their head was made of cake because it just kind of like <laughs> splats. Leo Fong, who I think he passed away recently, didn't he? Although he was in uh, a Len Kabazinski movie, which, good for Len. <laughs> Getting to work with him before he died. At least I think he passed away after filming the movie, I think. I haven't. That's a Len Kabazinski movie I have not seen. So hopefully this is the last one. Yep, we're good. And now I will be 14, we'll turn that in, and we'll continue the story. So the next one, the next big story beat should be... Now that Thancred knows who we are. I think he's going to introduce me to the other Scions. A bunch of people with very similar tattoos on their necks. And there we go. Yeah, leaves are a very, very, very easy way to level up. So now we can turn this in. At the Chamber of Rule, or the yeah, yeah, Alchemist Guild. That's where the elevator is. Yeah, sorry, I had to go and uh, kill some snakes and bombs and stuff. Papa Shango. The Uldar Ring. Direct hit rate, blunt resistance. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> some of these stats, like, you don't even, like, blunt resistance, that doesn't, like, exist anymore. <laughs> There's a lot of things they, they simplified as far as, you know, what stats you really need. Does it surprise you to see me dressed so killer? I was once a Sultan Sworn, you know. Well, it's been 15 years since I put down the sword and took up a role as Station Master. It is a capacity in which I am no less proud to serve, lest you doubt. Wherever Her Grace ventures outside the gates, I have the honor of protecting her person. Never before had I seen her so despondent as when the news of the crown's theft reached her ears. Why could that random Lalafell that we saw, that Thancred was also helping out, could she actually have been the Sultanate? 
the Sultan basically jasmining it up from Aladdin and going out among the common people? Yeah, that's the answer. She does that sometimes. <laughs> she has returned to her former vibrant self. You have the gratitude of el every Sultan sworn, Kilrath. Bring out the prostitutes. That's a ring. A ring that will block bat hits if someone hits you with a bat. Rabon, the badass. The bull of El Amigo. He shall taste my food before me to make sure I'm not being poisoned. <clears throat> oh, and how do you still have a job? I'm shocked you didn't let the ring get stolen before you gave it to me. That dude back there is shocked. He's like, oh, he doesn't know? They're serving him for dinner. She is adorable, but that dress is so weird. She is the potatoist of all the potatoes. I don't know if I explained that. That's kind of a meme. Referring to Lollafels as potatoes. Or papados. As the, this game calls potatoes. But yeah, they're all potatoes. But that's... Voice of the Just. Oh, it's just a... For an adventure to serve a personal invitation from her grace is unprecedented. Seats at these banquets are offered only to the most distinguished individuals, the monetarists that pay for them, basically. You'll be dining with some of the most influential people in Ulda. All of them basically will stab you in the back the first chance they get. Certain protocols must be observed, but I'm no authority on them. For not, Mistress Momadi has long been uh, responsible for familiarity. Yep. It all comes back to Momadi. Momadi's the key to all this. She's a, she's a funnier character than we've ever had. If we really get her, we need to get her working. Pray return to the quicksand and speak with her. I may have gone too far in some places, but it, you know, it's stylistically designed to be that way. It's like poetry, so it has to rhyme. You know, this game is so dense. You know, 
That dude's having a good time. He's having a party by himself. Oh, someone playing music. There is someone playing music. No, they're done. Let's try to figure out what song that was. Yes, there are certain, I'm not going to say mods, because it's not a mod, but there are apps where you can you basically take midis and it will basically manipulate the keys on the keyboard in such a way that it will just play them. It'll basically, you'll be able to like program in a song that you can play as a bard. I mean, I've got some Beatles, some Nirvana, uh, some Guns N' Roses, <laughs> but yeah, you, most main cities, uh, You'll find people just playing music. And you can even set it up so that you have multiple people playing different parts, so you can have these big, uh, big, like, bands, basically. It gets kind of nuts. Custom. All guests are required to wear a pair of ceremonial earrings, made specially for the occasion. Okay. They're meant to symbolize. Actually, forget about that. This is meant to be the short version. <clears throat> Being of uh, a design unique to the occasion, the errands serve a security measure. The Sultan's sworn won't let you near the hall without him. Your set should be ready at the goldsmiths. Let's go to the goldsmiths. Trying to identify the song. Uh, so we are going to go to Goldsmiths, <clears throat> which is the crafting profession for like accessories like rings, neck pieces, ear pieces, things like that. There's a character we'll be meeting in the Hildebrand questline who is a goldsmith. Quite a quite an amazing goldsmith, actually. Ah, Kilrath, your earrings are right here. I crafted them myself. I'll have you know. Yeah, okay. I, I can't pay you. You accept payment in the form of exposure. Um, I am not permitted to give you the key. It's a final safeguard. You see, only designated individuals of authority. So now we go back to Mobity. Get, get up there. And then she will unlock it. And we get our earrings, and then we can go to the banquet. <clears throat> this is all new to me, because I, again, I, I stated last time, I, I won't only ever started in Gridania, where um, you're dealing with Ida and uh, Papalimo. You're not dealing with Thancred. And then in Limsa, it must be Ishtola. Because Arangier, he, he won't leave his room. And uh, Menphilia is sort of the head of the Scion, so she she's keeping up stuff at the base. Yes, I did. His box. Open it. Take the earrings. Okay. Oop. And now we're 15, which means I get shield lob. Do I not get shield lob yet? Not yet? Oh, I have to do the quest to get it. Nobody wants to see you off to the banquet. Your big debut in old and high society. Next being held in the fragrant chamber. Head over to the royal promenade, and Bartholomew will show you in. Uh, put on your earrings first. Yes. Right, well, I reckon that's everything. Well, let's do the gladiator quest line first, because I need to get shield lob. Then I will have a ranged attack. And also, uh, every tank has a ranged attack at 15 that basically gives you all of the hate from the enemies. You do that, and it's an easy way to get attention from them. Um, Gladiator.
Uh, there's a couple things together. First sword was just another task. The immortal flames and the brass blades have both requested the guild's assistance in maintaining security at Tri Camp Drybone, a vital outpost along the Royal Allegan Sunway. The Malja. Okay. Okay, so we're dealing with the um, the lizard people. Uh, Camp Drybone. That is going to be here, and I, I'm going to run over there, because that way that'll give me another Aetherite I can teleport to. And Camp Drybone is a place that will actually be coming back to fairly frequently, actually. There's a lot of stuff in that general area. I think, is it 15 or 20 that I can get mounts? can't remember. I think I have to be... I think I have to get far enough in the story to um, be part of a grand company. I believe that's when you can get a sanction to use mounts. But I could be wrong. <clears throat> Ow. Knock it off. I'm going to open my map so I know where I'm going. Nope. Oh, I'm entirely the wrong direction. This way. Oh, do I have to go back up and take the bridge, or...? No, we should be good. Yeah, we should be fine. And we get to go to Eastern Thanalan. Camp Drybone is just over there. So I'll grab that Aetherite. Then we'll do this quest, get Shield Lob. And we should be very close story-wise to getting our first dungeon. Ow. I wonder if a Calamity Cell... I wonder... Actually, I'm trying to think. There might be some Glamour stuff I can get. I don't know if it's account-based or character-based is the thing. We shall find out. Because there's a Calamity Salvager and someone else... Uh, basically, if, uh, if you accidentally sell or lose uh, an item from a, like an event, you can go to them and get another copy of it, basically. But I don't know if that's based on the character or the account. Because there's stuff I could get uh, as glamours for this character that I didn't obviously do on this character, but I did on other characters. So I don't know how that works. It might be character-based. Because there's some I'd love to grab. I don't think you can trade them. I'm fairly sure you can't trade them. Oh no, an overturned cart. Little Red was inside. That's a Disney joke, for those of you who've ever... Well, I guess not really anymore, because I think they took that part out of the... That was the uh, Kilimanjaro Safari at Animal Kingdom, but I don't think that happens in the... I think they took the story element out of that.
Got to give him a second, then we can talk to him. There you go. Don't worry, brother, I'll be fine. Though maybe not when the first sword is done with me, eh? Go and tell that the Amaldra are dead. Leave the merchant to me. I'll be sure the merchant dies. Look at that otter. Look at it. Look at it. It's got a little lantern, a little hat. Now oh, he takes it off. It's freaking adorable. Is that? Hold on. No, it's not. I, I saw the outfit. I thought that was Nashu for a second. We'll be meeting her later. And she's kind of in this area, isn't she? I knew I was right to send you. You've done us proud. Seven hells, this place reeks of sweat. How do you expect a man to concentrate on his swordplay like this? It's Aldous. You remember me? How goes it, brother? Still waving his sword around like a feather duster? Yes, actually. You. Good to see you too, Mila, my dear. You're more beautiful than I remember. You're alive? Where have you been all these years? Me? Well, if you must know, I'm on a spiritual journey of self-discovery. Damn it, Aldous, this is serious. We all thought you were dead. If you were to walk in here as, nothing ha as though nothing happened, have you forgotten how you dishonored us? I should cut you down where you stand. That's the mill I remember, all fire and brimstone and trying to kill me. I knew that pretty face could still contort itself into terrifying shapes. I mean, have you seen it? Sometimes she does this thing where, like, her jaw unhinges. It's crazy. Oh, don't pot. I'm just having a bit of fun. But as you wish, I'll go. Kilrath was like, why don't you join me at the quicksand? I could use some company. And I doubt anyone else here would be so kind. This is the a pretty decent little action set piece we're going to be stepping into. Let us go to... The quicksand. <laughs> Don't mind us. Don't mind me, our peers. I'll be in a cutscene for a while. I don't know. That was a goose. Or a duck. I swear I did... You, you all saw that too, right? The Aflac duck run by? Like there... Anyway. So you came. So you had to witness the little reunion between me and Mila. I mean, I liked her in the Fifth Element, but those Resident Evil movies... Eh. That's Mila Jovovich joke. That's fine. The Sword of Nald, back from the dead. You'd think it'd be great to be throngs of adoring fans, not threats of violence. Listen, Kilrath, you're good with a sword. That's plain to see. But there's more to it than that. You've got purpose. There's a fire burning within you. As a former man of conviction, I can recognize a kindred spirit. Geralt named her Frenzy. She's one of a magnificent pair of swords that a drunken prodigy forced, forged from Colosseum champions. <laughs> we'll be meeting Geralt plenty of times. The man who wielded her twin had eyes that burned like yours. Geralt's the one who will forge all of our relic weapons. We'll probably only really be dealing with him in Boja. As far as, but you know, in, in Endwalker as well. But I don't No, Actually, it's part of the Vanderville stuff. I guess I'll have to do it. Kilrath, I... I love you. That's what he was going to say.
Aldous, Sword of Nald, we've come for your head. If you do that, how the hell am I supposed to enjoy my ale? Arrogant fool, prepare to meet your maker. Well, ain't you a bunch of impatient, humorless fellas? Yeah, you guys could have fired at any point. Up for a bit of fun, Kilrash. Kilrash. Kilrath, I'll lead, you follow. Yeah, I... let's do it. Actually, I could just get their attention, I guess. Most of these guys have a lot of HP. You're kind of just meant to let him do most of the damage. Actually, no, whoever he's attacking, I'll just attack. He got all... I can't even, like, get attention off him. It's also, whenever you see level question mark, question mark, it basically means it, it's a lot. He is a very high-level character. Usually that's just there for, like, eh, he doesn't have an actual level. He's just practically unkillable. He's there for story reasons. And more. Oh, you know, I'm just gonna get rid of these old bastards. Yeah, these guys I can take out. Wait, is that guy you attacked? No asshole is attacking me. No, he's not. He's looking at him. Go, take him out. Okay, well, let's try to do a cool thing. And failed. Yeah, these guys I can take. Someone's attacking me from over there. I don't know who. Oh, those guys. Hold on, I'll be with you in a minute. Light, give myself a little damage increase. Pop my defensive. <clears throat> Thank you. And we're done. Duty complete. Think it didn't think he'd go as far as to send a gang of cell swords into the quicksand in broad daylight. Why is it never a bevy of beauties? Well, I mean that actually no, that would work probably. I have a feeling he'd fall for it. Let's continue this another time, shall we? I need to find a new place to drink. Once with uh, one with more attractive company than this, sorry lot. I have a feeling the honeypot would work on him every time. Uh, now we just report to Mila. My apologies, Kalrath. I meant to teach you a new technique earlier, but when the idiot arrived, I completely forgot. He's just so infuriating. 
If the shield uptake equal out, you attack from afar. Yeah, I know what it is. Uh, what's a good upgrade? Uh, nah, that's the best upgrade of them all, I think. And a new Swaward. Actually, I should look and see if there's any goodies I can grab off the auction house as well. Yeah, might be, there might be a shield I can grab. I don't know. This is probably the best sword for my level. Yeah, I'm just gonna go... And that, and there we go, portrait updated. Let's go to Sapphire Exchange, I'll see if there's a new shield or something. Not too worried about gear for the most part. Because it probably won't be uh, 20 till they give me a new shield, story-wise. Uh, oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, take it. And cheap. Um, what are my options for these? Plundered, yeah, plundered stuff I can get from um, dungeons. Uh, out of curiosity, is there? Nah, not really. Yeah, I have the best stuff. All right. So now, well, I'll put the shield on. That looks nice. And, you know, it's nice just kind of floating on my back. Um, yes, that is Chamber of Rule. To the story! Uh, right there. <clears throat> I'm gonna speak to Bartholomew. Why is that red? Oh, I need to have the earrings on. Right. Right, right, right. Taking them off as soon as I get in there. Banquet House by the Great Sultana is debuting shortly. Yep. We are honored to receive you. Please step inside. Now that, that, that shirt there, the, the striped... Uh, that's, a, that's a decision that that man made. Sorry, that's adorable. Like, Down with capitalism, return to the monarchy. Yeah, 
Yeah, I found this. Isn't it neat? I charged up this J-O crystal. <laughs> I'm not even going to go down that road. Yeah, now that you mention it. Wait, you don't have dreams like that? They. That's a very Japanese thing. You were like, them. Them? Yes, them. Can, can you just... Allow me to explain. Mm -hmm. されたしてるとは英雄が自分たちの爪に命を落として戦ったことを覚えているだろう確かにそこにいたのだしかしその名を口にだそうとしてる天候の中に消えてきた影に包まれた<笑> Heidelin, again, is kind of the, the god, the mother goddess kind of figure, and the twelve are kind of aspects, in a sense. But she's the... Uh, the, the massive crystal that talked to us. Oh, we'll have plenty of martyrs in this story, trust me. Oh, sorry, having a stroke. Yeah, that's a moon. It's crashing. How come he gets a chocobo when no one else does? Sir, to be fair, we're not sure if their mothers were whores. They may have been properly married. That is the priestess that leads Gridania. The other person was uh, the Admiral of Limsalamensa.
Just some dude standing over there, all creepy like. But by who? Can't, sir, dead. Mad Snake. They're using a Metal Gear. Colonel. Snake, snake, snake. One of the reasons I'm using Japanese voice acting is that I, I think the quality of the quality, because I mean the, the English voice actors are doing their best. But um, see, English voice actors tend to have this thing called a sense of shame. Uh, you know, they're not gonna go too nuts with their emotions. Japanese voice actors have absolutely no shame. They will scream, they will cry. You'll call laugh, you'll call cry. But uh, yeah, they, they go for it. They go, they crank it up to 11 emotionally. Um, which is also when there's cutscene dialogue, I'm not going to read the dialogue out. Simply because I I feel like I'd probably be trying to like mimic their emotion. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take the, st the stage from them. I will, you know, Still MST3K it, but well, certain scenes though I will be shutting the hell up for reasons. No, ma'am, I didn't even try to contact them. And that does make sense. I mean, you get an Elder Primal Bahamut running around. It's probably disrupting the Aether of the entire continent, to be fair. Karlamald basically, literally, did the nuclear option by dropping the moon and Bahamut on the continent. Yeah, everyone kind of lost. On all sides. I mean, it was the seventh calamity that has, you know, basically the seventh extinction level event that happened in this world. Let's 
sir, you didn't even give me a chance to say yes. Uh, <laughs> I think that risk has already been decided on, Senna. Well, not risk the thing that's basically just happened. Yeah, there ain't any getting around that. Now <clears throat> oh, there's a red mask. I know he's saying once more, implying that he has seen Bahamut before, meaning this guy is thousands of years old. Bahamut was imprisoned by the Allegans eon like, you know, thousands and thousands of years ago in one of the earlier eras. So this dude's old. How are you feeling, Kilrath? Uh, how long was I out? I mean, if you're knocked out for any more than, like, a few seconds, that's super bad for you. They say you fainted in the middle of one of the general stories. I had to have you carried back to the hourglass. Reckon you made quite an impression on your fellow guests, though. Probably not the sort you intended. You sure you get enough rest, Kilrath? The life of adventure can be pretty taxing. No, just getting a message from God. Any rod, I'm glad to see you're back to normal. No offense, but looking after you was getting a bit tiresome. How long have I been in here? Oh, before I forget, the general left a message for you. So when you're feeling up to it, come see him at the Hall of Flames. Probably not to finish the story he was telling you when you fell asleep. They're just like, oh yeah, you fell asleep. Like They didn't assume I had like a legitimate medical emergency. Uh, I want to put a sword in here. Let's put the Viking sword. I kind of like the look of that one. And we're also going to put the Hoplon in there. Yeah. Oh, I need Glamour Prisms. Well, I can always buy those at the auction house. They're usually relatively cheap. <clears throat> Just because, you know, you need... The market is saturated with glamours, so glamour prisms are not that hard to find. But I can always do that off-stream. Hall of Flames... Oh! Grand Company. That is right over here. Uh, no, wait, hold on. There it is. I got flipped turned upside down. While I'm here, I also want to... Oh, there's someone dead. 
That's Ulda. That's a bit of smart peek going on. Uh, I kind of want to see... Can I look at... Yes, okay. I kind of want to see, because this is going to be a big decision as far as which grand company... Eh. Eh. Yeah, which ones have the nicest looking weapons? Yeah, this is kind of what I assumed as far as the grand company stuff goes. Like, eh. Do I not get a shield? Yeah, their stuff is very bulky. Which, that's kind of a nice, simple design. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, these are all way too big and bulky. Kind of works as the axe, though. So far, yeah, we'll see when we get to Limsa what their stuff looks like, but probably gonna go uh, adders. Sixteen. This will take some time to explain. Ooh, I got a little wind-up airship. To entrust you with a task of utmost import. I believe this is when I'm gonna be going to all the other grand companies and see in the world. Pair these letters to my counterparts in the Aorzean Alliance. Yes. Five years ago, we looked on powerless as our brothers and sisters were taken from us at Cartno. First by the Garleans, and then by the thrice damned primal called forth by their treachery. Not a day goes by, I don't think about my fallen comrades. And of the warriors of light, of whom no trace remained. The tragedies of the Calamity were not so easily forgotten. Nor should they be. In remembering all we've lost, we're reminded of what we still have. And so I mean to mark the fifth anniversary of the Battle of Cartno with a memorial service honoring the fallen. It is my hope that my counterparts in the Alliance will agree to do the same. I would have you bear my words to them as my personal envoy. Why you? Because your deeds mark you out as the nearest thing we have to the Warrior of Light. I can think of none more worthy of the role. The question is, will you accept it? Nah, I kind of have this... this. I gotta kill some frogs for a drunken pugilist. I'm sure this is very important, but you know. You will journey to Gridania and Limsa Limitsa as my official representative. Meaning I immediately get to switch over to Dragoon. <laughs> Although I'll keep... I'm gonna keep leveling Paladin just because, again, tanks. Until I get Dark Knight, tank is a nice easy way to get through dungeons. But Dragoon, that's my bread and butter. That's, 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 that's my binky. It's a great many moms to travel, but I have neither the time nor patience to wait around while you do it on foot. I hereby grant you permission to use the airship routes connecting the three city-states. This pass serves as proof of your privilege. Gone are the days when airship travel was available to all. The ever-present threat of Imperial attack has forced us to impose drastic restrictions out of concern for public safety. These passes are only granted when circumstances demand it, as in this case. Though there were others who insisted you be granted one regardless. I, Karoth, I am not alone in seeing it. Your potential is plain. But I have said enough. In the name of the Sultan, I bid you go forth. See for yourself the wonders of the realm, for which the Warrior of Light risked all. Rise to your calling and fulfill your promise. It is your destiny. And should your path be barred by man or beast, strike fast and true, for victory belongs to the bold. Now go forth, Kilrath. Heed the crystal's guidance, should you ever lose your way. Yeah, she kind of talks to me whenever she feels like it. I, I'm, I'm, I don't really have an open channel, she just kind of... It happens when it happens, basically. Uh, oh god, I'm not sure I remember how to get to the airship landing here. Um. Hmm. Uh, oh wait, there's an elevator. Hmm. 
Oh, I can. Oh, she'll tell me. Back from eating with Raban, are you? What did the big man have to say? I got a job. Is that a fact? Two men look on. Personal envoy of the Flame General himself. So you'll be bearing the great man's words to the leaders of the Alliance, so are you? And by airship, fuck me, that's an honor and a half. That ace. But I can't think of anyone who deserves it more. I'm proud of you, Kilrath, I truly am. Now I dare say, Raban told you this, but not many people get to go on the airships these days. In fact, most folks go to their graves having never even, uh, never once seen a Yorzeo from above. Poor buggers shuffle off to meet Thal, never knowing the blues of Limits of Shimmering Seas, or the myriad greens of Leafy Gridania. Or the horrible totalitarian theocracy of Ishgard. <coughs> but not you, Kilath. You'll see those sights and more. And everywhere you go, you'll be fascinating folks with fascinating tales to tell. The people you meet, the places you go, savor those experiences. For they are priceless, all. Saying that, I'd be remiss if I didn't remind you to be careful out there. Uldai ain't the only place with troubles. And you'll discover when you visit Limsa and Gridania. Truth be told, you might be exactly what the general wants you to realize. I think he knows what kind of man you are, Kilrath. One who will do as you're told. And what kinds of that, you ask? The kind that can't just stick in his nose in other people's business, of course. And don't you go change him. Safe travels, Kilrath. I'll see you when you get back. Um, buh, 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 buh. Airstrip landing. Uh, yeah, where is exactly... I should... Oh, I, can, I think I can get there. I think I can warp there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fairly sure I can just warp. From one of the uh, Aetherites. It might actually just be here, though. This looks like the general area. Is it not? Hmm. You know what? Screw this. I'm going back to the other end. I'm just warping. Alright, one moment, chat. I'm just going to go grab a soda.
I return? Grab the mail while I was getting the soda. Nothing but bills and pills and this, which I think it is. Uh, for the fundraiser, for the Extra Life uh, charity fundraiser. I got, um, you, you earn a certain amount for the charity, you get some like little incentives. Um, each year they do a shirt, so that's the shirt. I think it's a decal and a pin, I think. So that's neat. Very, very neat. And a bunch of pills. Most of my uh, transplant meds, the, the important ones. Um, I, mean, I guess they're all important in their own way, but there's some that come specifically uh, by mail. Nasbill. Yes, bill. Bills, bills, bills. See much of that is. Oh, no, this is not a medical bill. Let's just see. This one's a medical bill. Okay, whatever. I'll deal with that later. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yes, I'm going to warp over. Um, airship landing, perfect. We see her. Now we get to embark. Go to Gridania, get Lancer. And then check out, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it does it in a certain order or if I get to choose. But we shall see. First we met beneath the Sultan tree, I sensed there was something unusual about him. I wonder if they feel the same. You know, they. Good old classic Final Fantasy crystal theme. If I'm right, they'll be singing your praises from here to the far reach before long. You don't know the half of it. May you always walk in the light of the crystal. That's a Garlemald airship. And this is the Imperial theme, basically. 
And there's Darth Vader. Actually, it's more like the uh, judges from Final Fantasy uh, Tactics in 12. We'll be seeing the remnants of that battle. That is the Dragon Midgard Somer. I mean, to be fair, dropping a moon on people is not really getting control of them, it's just eradicating them. Like, did you really want to take over a country that just had the moon fall on it? I'm not gonna lie, I forgot the dude with the two shield arms existed. The other two you see in, like, um, other story events, and you do see him in the shield guy in story events, too. I just, oh, what is that they're carrying? But, uh, I think he's only, like, you see him in, like, a quest and beat him, so, like, I straight up forgot he existed. I thought, I, for some reason in my head, it was always that guy, Gaius, the leader there. And Nero, who's the guy in the red armor, and uh, Livia in the white armor. I completely forgot about the other guy. I don't remember his name. Nero! Nero, who looks like Virgil. Oh, Thar, that's the, basically, this world's version of, like, uh, East Asia, basically. Wait, Hummingway? That's a Final Fantasy IV reference they bring back in Endwalker. <clears throat>
Nero, why are you using a sword? Where's your hammer? I should turn shout chat off just because. Oh, wait, where am I? <clears throat> is this done? No, this is uh, Limsa. Right? Yeah. Because we're going to be seeing town crying going on for everyone's free company, for everyone's big public event. Not that it's a bad thing, it's just get used to seeing uh, orange text in my little chat box over there. <coughs> I'm shocked that I haven't gotten a bunch of free company invites. Welcome to Limsa Limits. The Admiral has been looking forward to your arrival. Proceed to the Crow's Lift at your earliest convenience. It will take you to Bulwark Hall. Once there, pray speak to Xanthiel. He will be pleased to show you to the Admiral's command room on the bridge. I would rather go there. <clears throat> we'll take a look around Limsa, and I'll probably call it here now that we're actually in a good place where I'm going to start seeing the world. And then I can do some off-screen leveling and preparing. So Limsa, I hate this city. I get so lost trying to find my way around this place. But it looks awesome. But like all these places down there are like split up into different like zones. And it's like, okay, that one down there, is that this zone or do I have to find a way to get to that? It's, it's so weird. But again, seaside, like city like carved into the actual like cliffs and stuff. It's so cool. Uh, I need to find aetherites that I can attune to. Uh, I think... Yes, okay, it looks like there's a way I can get down from here. Yes, okay, now I can get to the aetherite. Because <clears throat> obviously, for any time you get to a place, first thing you do, if it has an aetherite, grab the aetherite so you can teleport back. I can just take the elevator there. When I am ready. The only nice thing about this place is it's very, very quick to get to the uh, the auction house because it's right over there. All the merchants are right next to the Aetherite Crystal, which is convenient. I'll give it that. Outside of that, any time I have to wander around this place, you're going to see me just get frustrated by how stupid, like, how the layout is. It's like driving in Boston. A place whose entire road structure was based on cow pastures and cow uh, herd, like, cow herding. So it makes no sense. There's so many weird one-ways and stuff. Uh, so yeah, this is all here. Oh, I wanted Materia, Catalysts, and Glamour Prism. Uh, yeah, 99 of them. Yeah. I will probably use all 99, to be honest. You would be surprised. So I'm looking for I don't know I'm trying to see where the uh, actual maelstrom command is as far as the uh, free company so I can just see their weapons. I have a feeling theirs might look kinda nice. The Gridani ones look cool, but I'm kinda very curious what the uh because I don't think I've ever really looked at them, but I'm assuming based on the like aesthetic that it's going to look nice. A tune here. Um, Hawker's Alley. The Af there it is. Aft Castle. Okay, easy. It's 
I will have to go back up to the second part and grab that. We'll take a look at the weapons. Yeah, off off camera, I'll get all the aetherites in this place and probably unlock the housing area because I can show those off a little bit. Actually, should have done that while I was in um, Ulda, but I'll be back. This way. <clears throat> but like this area, for example, we can see the Aetherite Plaza from like this area. But it's not like I can just jump down to it. I have to find the you know the the stairs to go down to get to it. It's a very annoying city to have to go around. Oh wait, there was an Aetherite there. Gimme. Uh, my only some command should be south. Yes. <clears throat> the Marauders uh, are up top, they're another tank class, they become warrior, they're axe people. That's actually the one tank class I haven't really messed around with, is uh, warrior. Yeah, I'll grab that too, just because I might as well... I mean, it's one of those things you can, you can switch any time, so it's not... Uh... A little further south, and there's Aetherite right, right there. It has been a while since I've had to <laughs> run around grabbing Aetherites. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking for quartermaster. Let's see what their weapons look like. Now, granted, it takes a bit to actually rank up enough to get that, but eh, yeah, I'm not not huge on that. Dark Knight. That's nice. That's actually really nice. And what about sword? Also nice. A little flashy. What about the slightly lesser ones? That's a cool colors. That's cool. Eh. The 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 handguard thing is too big. Kind of overtakes the blade. That's eh, it's not big on trains. Um uh, I can have hook hands. That's kind of cool. Dumb, but cool. Um that's yeah, actually kind of nice. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. All right, so I think I'm going to call it here. We are in the new city. Uh, so tomorrow I'm going to be streaming Dark Tide. Um, and then uh, Thursday will be another round of, um, of this. So on Thursday, I will be... We'll basically get to the rest of the uh, Grand Companies... And we'll probably be meeting up with the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Who are they? Well, you'll find out. Well, we saw one of them. We've seen Thancred. He's one of them. Uh, and then Friday, uh, we'll start the Mario RPG remake, which is going to be awesome. Uh, and that'll kind of take over the channel for a while, but I'm still going to be doing this every Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, so it'll probably be Monday, Wednesday, Friday that I do Mario RPG, and then once that's over, we'll return to our regularly scheduled entertainment. Um, but yeah, so here we are. 
making strides. Once we meet up with the Scions, that's really the point when the story really focuses. Like right now, we've been kind of all over the place dealing with different people. <clears throat> that's the point when you now have a team and a job. So you're basically, you have a, a through line now, a path to the end, um, which is, you know, only just recently finished with Endwalker as far as the, the storylines that start here. And then Dawn Trail is going to be kind of a whole new beginning, and we're going to going to see where that leads us. But uh, thank you all for being here. Hope you enjoyed. I'm um, hoping you're enjoying the story, even though, again, it's still, Rumorborn's a little bit of a slog, but it's going to get better and better and better as we go. Um, so I will sign off for now. And see you all next time.